I'm gonna ride this trike down the hill and jump off a ramp. Ah! Cool. I'm Tricycle Hank, and I'm gonna ride my trike down this hill and off a ramp. Um, that's a slide. Do you see any hills around here? Where did you see this again? On TV. For the last time, Wiley Coyote's a cartoon. No, no, this was a real guy. And did he hurt himself? Yeah. Proceed. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Uh, doy. Okay, any new business? Yes. I read that tomorrow is the start of Turn Off Your TV Week. I propose we ban reading. Well, I think Dog River should take part. Even Woolerton's doing it. I'd like to stick it to that town. I should have won their knitting contest. You saw what I knit. You knit a scarf that says Woolerton sucks. Well, they should have recognized the skill involved. Who's with me? I say we do it. TV almost killed me. Don't listen to this jackass. I love TV, and TV loves me. Well, here's something you won't hear me say very often. I agree with my dad. TV is like the brother I never had. I thought I was the brother you never had. No, you're the non-brother I did have. I don't watch TV, so missing a week of it would be a breeze for me. Well, I do watch one show, so you think your kids can dance. But that's it. Last night was actually pretty good. There's this kid from Cincinnati, and his dad just lost his job. His mom's in jail, so this little kid, he's eight years old, he danced his heart out. I, I, I called in and voted for him like ten times. <laughs> you can do that. You can do that. You can call them however many times you want. <laughs> I think we should give up TV just to get Lacey off the junk. People, people, listen to yourselves. You're actually talking about giving up TV for an entire week. That's, that's seven days. This is madness. Wanda, back me up on this. Sorry? What are we talking about? I don't pay attention to these things. Giving up TV for a week. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Let's put it to a vote. Those in favor of no TV for a week and sticking it to Woolerton spit. Done. Hey, you tricked us. Hey, so how is day one and no TV going? Good, good. I don't need TV. Plenty else to do. Whoa, now it's two pieces of floaty goop. I get by. How about you? Fantastic. I've got all this free time. I've been doing baking, calling old friends. Hey, do you watch So You Think Your Kid Can Dance? Oh, you lost your TV in the divorce? Oh, I see. Hmm. Do you have your ex-husband's phone number? Good for us. Well, I'm off to put a raisin in soda water. Somebody told me it goes up and down. It's 20 minutes after the hour, and Karen Pelly has just entered the police station. No accidents, so it should be smooth walking all the way to her desk. What are you doing? I got out the old ham radio, and I was thinking we could do a radio show to help people through No TV Week. Oh, that is so cool. This is going to be great. A classic rock station right here in Dog River. Yeah, because that's what Saskatchewan needs, is another classic rock station. And maybe we can call it the bear or the goat or the moose. That's good. I like all of those names. No. What Saskatchewan needs is an old jazz station. But I thought we wanted people to listen. Or am I confused? I like this TV free week. You don't finally have time to catch up on some reading. What are you reading? The back of cereal boxes? Yeah. Yeah, I started with the back of the uh, Trix box, and then I got through the Alphabets box, and Shreddy's couldn't put it down. If you want, I'll lend it to you. Oh, thanks. But I read these things called books. Oh. Huh. Well, if you get tired of those, I recommend anything from Kellogg's. Having trouble with your uh, crosswords? 
I'm having trouble concentrating on my crossword. Starts with an M. Another word for belittled. Midget. Here, I'll write it. No, oh, you're not no. writing anything. No, 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 I'm bored. It's another radio. I hate listening to radio. It creeps me out. But you can't sit there moping all day. Watch me. We'll clean the basement. You clean the basement. Build yourself a stupid bookcase. Hello? You? Oh. <laughs> Hey, Wanda was just here, and uh, she said she wanted you to meet her outside the gas station later uh, so she could give you a gift. A gift? Really? Yeah. She said she was feeling bad about freaking out on you earlier. Uh, oh, yeah, she, she's cleaning the windows, and she was wondering if you could help her by dumping out her dirty water bucket. Hey, Wanda, I was just talking to Hank, and he said he read the back of a Triscuit's box, so now he's smarter than you. Smarter than me? He's not as smart as a Triscuit's. He said you'd say something like that. That's what it was. He said you were easier to read than a box of Triscuits. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. No, no. This is good to know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I... Shh, shh, my show's on. <laughs> hey, Oscar. So, this no TV thing must be killing you, hey? <laughs> I've never done anything easier. <laughs> Water of a duck. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, last night I, I did some more baking. Read a couple chapters and... Oh, God. I would give it all up for one minute of So You Think Your Kid Can Dance. I can hook you up. What? I'm talking prime time. Quality stuff. <laughs> I get two other channels. There's a Moose Jaw station. And the CBC. That can't be the CBC. Watch hockey on TSN. And I'll back to you so you think you're kidding. Oh, your there it is. There it is. Leave it there. So that's it? That's the show you want to watch? Yeah. What are you doing? Five bucks if you want to watch the rest of your kids' show. Welcome back. I'm Downtown Davis, and you're listening to All That Jazz. And now for Weather on the Ones with Jazzy KP. This is Special K with your wacky weather. Looking outside, there is a 30% chance of... With a barometer going all the way up to... Back to you, Big D. It's downtown Davis. Anyway, it's TV-free week here in Dog River. And with us on the show, we have Emma Leroy. Why are you talking like that? Now, you've spearheaded this whole project. Hey, Big D, did you just eat a burrito? No, I did not. Sorry, Emma, I apologize for Big D. Please continue. Well, I thought Dog River should... Oh, man, I think Big D just gave birth to a fog monster. What do you got? What do you need? Some Muppets? Some Flintstones? A little punky Brewster? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Making a little cashola. You know, a little scratch, a little chicken seed. Well, you can't do it in here. We're gonna get caught. Get caught doing what? Uh, selling moonshine. <laughs> you know, just trying to help people get through. No TV week. Good. Whatever it takes to be... Yes, we all know what the town's name is. 
So I'm confused. What was the present Wanda was supposed to give me? Was it the uh, wet sponge to the face or the purple nurple? Yeah, I don't know what happened. I think she must feel threatened by how smart you are now. Ah, uh, well, that's understandable. Wanda mentioned something about challenging you to a game of chess. <laughs> Bring it on. Two smartest people in town duking it out in the ultimate battle of wits. Yeah. You know, chess is the one with the little castles and horses, right? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> bring it on. I was pretty quiet. I think I made it past Emma. Emma's not home. Oh, well, then I definitely did. Oh, what do you got there? <laughs> whoa, 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 Ted Turner. Those are three bucks each. What? That's highway robbery. I tell you what, you let me watch TV for free and you can have a sticky bun. Deal. Hey, want a sticky bun? Four bucks. Oscar! They're five. So... A little 230-pound birdie in a blue shirt told me that you think you can beat me at chess. That's right. So let's get it on. Check and mate. <laughs> this is gonna be easier than I thought. Oh. You glued my pieces to the board. No, I didn't glue them. Oh, and I see that yours are free to run around and jump and frolic. Oh, look at us. I'm winning a chess. I'm a genius. I think that's, that's an illegal move. <laughs> Ooh, quick, act like you're buying something. No, we're not doing the weather again. Next caller. Yeah, is this all that jazz with downtown Davis? Because I'd love to hear some jazz. All right. And what can I play for you? I'd love to hear Michael Bublé sway. Oh, come on. Michael Bublé's not jazz. He's a gifted vocalist who defies genres. I'd rather listen to the weather. Are there no serious jazz fans out there? Well, maybe if you'd lighten up, your show would be more popular. I can lighten up. Watch this. Hello, jazz fans. This is Downtown Davis. I'm gonna make a phone call, but it's not a real phone call. It's what we like to call a crank call. Okay, here we go. Corner gas. Hello. Hey, Davis. Oh, it's not Davis. This is John Coltrane, jazz saxophonist. Do you have any popsicles? Isn't John Coltrane dead? Yes, that's why this is Charlie Parker. He's dead too. Right, I mean Ornette Coleman. You want to uh, think this through and call me back? No, I, I don't know what you're... Now you're getting it! <sighs> Has it started yet? It's just about to. Should be a good one. Here we go. The Hank and Wanda Show. spot please <laughs> Lacey Jim's here two sticky buns pronto coming right up hiya Jimmy it's Emma okay everyone you know the drill come on what are you all doing down here hey Emma just a friendly game of cards cards <laughs> what do you think I am an idiot Oh, 
radio. Thanks, Emma. You're listening to DRPD. <laughs> Maybe we don't need the radio. <laughs> There they are, the happy sponsors. Gotta be happy with that show. Huge ratings, seven, maybe eight people. Great, and here's your coupon for a free tire rotation. You trying to stiff me? Damn right, tire gauge. I get to keep that mug, right, Phil? I wasn't really happy with how my business was represented. Come on, man, I drank the hell out of that mug. All right, here's a coaster. Score. <laughs> Coming up next, we've got Special K with her ever popular weather report. Thanks, Davis, outside. But not before we hear from Big Daddy Davis with his traffic report. This is Davis with his eye in the sky. We're looking down on Main Street, and it looks a little back a up down there. We've got some cattle on the road. And a couple of lions as well. And a donkey. And now over to Special K for the weather. Well, it is hotter out there than a... I can't do this. Well, here's the weather report for you. Karen's attitude is as cold as ice. And speaking of cold as ice, here's a little foreigner for you. Okay, that's not foreigner, but if it was, it would have been pretty cool. So, you having a good time? You enjoying the show? Yeah, it's, it's good. Hmm. What's that you're eating? Just sticky bun. Really? Since when does a sticky bun have ham and cheese in it? Oscar, this guy's packing a sub. What? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I invite you into my house, charge you five bucks to watch a crappy TV, and this is how you repay me? Get out. Uh, but Pebbles and Bam Bam are about to sing. Get out! I've soaped up the windows on Wanda's car, pretending to be Hank, and... There's a lemon meringue pie placed precariously on top of the ladder. Let's see what happens. On the Hank and Wanda Show. That looks like a delicious watermelon, Hank. Wherever did you get it? At the Foo Mart. 99 cents a pound. Foo Mart's great. I find that their warm and friendly staff is always eager to answer any question I might have. And now with the extra till they've added, there's no reason to wait in line. Who's smart? Thou art when you shop at Boo Mart. You gotta be kidding me. This is just one big ad. No, wait. They could still drop that pie. That'd be funny. I could squirt them with a hose. Hello, DRPD. You're on the air. Hi, is this the police station? Nope. It's Party Patrol with Special K and Big D. Right. Uh, I just thought you guys should know that there's some illegal TV watching going on at the Leroy residence. All right, buddy. Thanks and all, but why don't you leave the pranks to downtown Davis? Next caller. Hello? My house is on fire. My cat is trapped upstairs. Thanks, sir. We'll get right on that. <laughs> I think those might have been real calls. Where's everybody? They're gone. Show's over. What? Why? Because you sold out. It was nothing but one big commercial. You're the one who manipulated us. We were just trying to make a buck. Literally a buck. I was just trying to get through no TV week, and you guys had to ruin it with your shameless product placement. Hello? The RPD? It's the cops. Places, everyone. Open up. We know you got a TV in there. <clears throat> All right, we're coming in. All right, you caught me. Who can go a whole week without watching TV? Emma, how could you? After everything we've done to win this contest, for you. I found another one downstairs. That's great. Just what we need, lose another competition to Woolerton. 
Not necessarily. We could lie. It's nice to have you back, old friend. Oh, that guy in the beer commercial just opened the bottle with his teeth. Wait, Hank, I don't think you want to... Let's wanna... just see where this goes. Oh, my mouth! TV's great. TV's great. <laughs> Boy, TV really is fantastic. Hi, I'm Brent from TV. I know the Corner Gas is a show that's watched by the whole family, so I wanted to take a moment to say something to the kids out there. In tonight's episode, the folks at Dog River got out of a jam by telling a lie. Now, that may be fine and funny here in the TV world, but out there in real life, telling a lie is never a good way to solve a problem. Unless you're in a real bind, and telling the truth is just going to cause a big hassle and make somebody mad at you. Good night, everybody. online visit us at cornergas.com I don't